the kiosk here, the shed here, is all about the tradition of um, Unk and Hank, from whom we bought the shed going back to 1983, characters like Basil Manny, and really when you think of it, their fingerprints, their DNA, um, their philosophies really are all about down here. And they've certainly affected me and the way I view this establishment, the way I look at life, if that's not too heavy. And therefore, I'd love to see that tradition continue here um, because it's been going on for so long and it's such a wholesome condition, uh, tradition, I should say. Um, and what is that tradition? Well, essentially, it's, it's integrity, uh, honesty, simplicity. Unc doesn't have a Harvard business degree. He's a simple man, um, clearly a wonderful man. Um, all the staff that have worked here over the years, I would always say to them, in addition to educational qualifications they might have, are UT. They have those initials after their names, which is Unc trained. And Unc has trained them in ways that other teaching institutions don't train you. And it's in those all important areas that I mentioned, such as honesty and integrity. So I'd love to see, you know, the next generation of young people that um, knock about down here, not just pick up a love for the environment, which is all around us, the beach, you know, the windsurfing, the, the yachting, um, all the things that happen out there on the water, but um, those qualities of life that uh, Unc, Hank and Basil have been able to impart to me, and as I say, I'd love to see um, in turn be handed on. Dear old Unc is, um, when I look back on the time that I've known him, which is uh, well over 20 years, is, is not a public speaker. Um, He's not a, a polished individual, um, but by God, he really qualifies as a raconteur, a, a storyteller extraordinary. And um, over those 20 years, he's told us some amazing escapades that he's been involved in, um, all crazy, all typically unk, all full of character. I guess there's not a particular theme that comes through, um, except the, uh, the fact that Unk is, is very much the individual and um, just a wonderful, a wonderful storyteller. And it would be a great pity if those uh, yarns, if you like, that have taken place down here over the years um, disappeared. I, I guess I view Unk a little like our Indigenous people, the, the Aboriginals, where, of course, there's nothing handed down in writing there may be Aboriginal rock paintings, there are of course, but essentially the tradition is passed on verbally from the elders such as Unk to the, uh, the next generation. And uh, so too I think it's um, a responsibility that I have and I'm well aware of that and I do pass a lot of these stories on where I can remember them and there's just so many of them to remember to anybody that will give me the time of day to listen because um, they really are part of the, the folklore of this, this old shed. The tradition of the shed here really is all about the ambience of the place. Um, this is not a sophisticated uh, business. In fact, it's, it's very unsophisticated. It, it's very simple. It's very much in parallel with the way Unk is, who, of course, established the shed in more recent times at least, going back maybe to 1970, although the shed has been here since around about um, the early 1900s. Um, so I think it would be not a good idea, it would be inconsistent if the shed became anything other than what it traditionally has been in its ambience. Um, and of course, in that respect, it becomes um, particularly attractive, people when they, they feel the place when they come down here for the first time understand it's not your typical 
windsurfing school. It's not your typical kiosk or restaurant or whatever. It's very atypical. It's very special, and I think um, the reaction that we see from people who come down here for the first time is such that they understand that they've come to a special place. The history of the shed is such, it's so unusual, and given that the shed has its own personality, its own allure, its its own identity, that uh, people like myself, really more than anything else, are simply custodians, that will be here for a period and will move on, and we'd very much love to think that those who become custodians after us keep the flame burning, um, maintain the traditions, um, particularly that of people like Unk who have been of our generation and um, I think it behoves us all to, uh, to make sure that the, um, the baton is passed on.